please don't drink this coffee. Please don't fund an unnecessary and cruel aspect of the coffee industry. Today we're talking about Kopi Luwak. Kopi Luwak. It's one of the most expensive coffees you'll see out there. It's made by collecting the droppings of an Asian palm civet that has been eating coffee cherries. And from its feces, you can recover the undigested seeds that you can then clean up, roast, brew, and drink. Does it taste better? I think way back in sort of 2005, 2006, someone told me that four times more Kopi Luwak was sold than was actually produced. The second aspect of Kopi Luwak production to scale up with demand was caged civet coffee production. Essentially, people would capture you know, wild civets, cage them and force feed them coffee, kind of battery farming Kopi Luwak. Cage civets suffer in just about every single way. They're living in cramped, dirty cages. They are force fed a diet of just coffee cherries, which is not healthy for them. Now, all of this cruelty, all of this potential for fraud, all this money, is it really worth it at the end of it? Well, most seasoned coffee tasters who are doing blind tastings of Kopi Luwak generally report that it doesn't taste very good. My own experience? Well, I was told I was tasting Kopi Luwak, and what I tasted was low acidity. It wasn't unusually low in bitterness. It was kind of earthy and a little bit wild, and it was not particularly delicious. And it kind of reminded me of a number of other low-quality coffees that I've had that have had similar attributes. 